Next, we are having the process of evaporation. So, boiling. We have learned that in a boiling, first of all, a fixed temperature is needed for the boiling so that it can it can convert to liquid to gaseous state. But in a evaporation, what does it happen? For example, here some kind of water is there in open. Fine. So, and upside sun is there. So, whenever sun is going to give the heat, because sun is going to give the heat to all each and every thing whatever is there present near it or present in the atmosphere so this water is also going to take the heat from the sun so when this water is going to take the heat from sun by taking or by absorbing the heat this water changes into the steam and will move upward fine and this process only in which the liquid converts into the gaseous state at any temperature because here sun is not giving any fixed temperature to this water okay so at any temperature water is going to convert into the uh, gaseous state this process is known as evaporation fine but this evaporation only takes place at the surface of liquid how for example this much liquid we are having these all are the particles of liquids fine so when this liquid is going to take the heat from the sun only the upper part of the water is going to take the heat and upper part of the water molecules only these water molecules will take the heat and they will evaporate and they will convert into gaseous form but in a case of boiling what does in boiling happens in boiling whenever we are heating the liquid whenever we are heating the liquid whatever the particles which are downside the heat which are very near the flame that particles will take the heat and they will move upward and then they will convert into the gaseous form so boiling is a bulk phenomena means each and every particle is going to boil but evaporation takes place only at the surface so here we are having the definition of evaporation evaporation is a phenomena of transition of liquid to vapor state here liquid changes to vapor state at any temperature so at any temperature it is going to convert into the vapor state below its boiling point means here not 100 degree celsius is giving uh, is taken by the liquid particles if 100 is given then the boiling is only there but evaporation takes place only below the boiling point evaporation of liquid takes place at all temperature below its boiling point below the boiling point so boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius below the boiling point if boil if the water is going to convert into steam that must be evaporation only for example if 98 degree celsius also is there means that 98 also water is evaporating here evaporation is only there here not fixed temperature we are giving so evaporation takes place at any temperature below the boiling point next point we are having evaporation of liquid takes place only at the free surface of liquid so as i already told this is a free surface of liquid only at the free surface of liquid evaporation can takes place evaporation is not going to take place at the bulk at full surface it is not going to takes place only at the free surface evaporation is a slow and continuous process evaporation is very slow process as one uh, uh, for example in one case we are having evaporation one case we are having boiling we are going to boil the liquid okay we are going to boil the liquid here so what will happen more fast obviously boiling will happening more fast as compared to evaporation because whenever heat will come that particles will gain energy they will vibrate about their mean position then only they can evaporate so it is very slow and continuous process as well as boiling is the fast process fine so next we are having factors affecting evaporation what are the factors that affect the evaporation first factor we are having nature of liquid evaporation also depends upon the nature of liquid for example in one glass i am having alcohol and in one glass i am having water in alcohol the molecules are apart from each other plus in alcohol intermolecular force of attraction is also weak but in water as compared to alcohol intermolecular forces are little bit strong so alcohol will take the heat from surrounding alcohol will take the heat from surrounding and evaporate very much fast but in the same way water water will take the heat from atmosphere but it is not going to evaporate that much fast 
so evaporation depend upon the nature of liquid next point we are having temperature so whenever we are giving more temperature when in the atmosphere more heat is there more temperature is there with a the more temperature evaporation rate also increases next we are having third point surface area the rate of evaporation also increases with the increase in surface area for example this cloth is having this much surface area and this cloth is having this much surface area so here surface area is more in a b and c in b cloth surface area is more if surface area is more means it has more tendency to gain the heat means heat will take more from uh, at the surface so whenever more surface is there evaporation takes place or the liquid changes to gaseous form will takes place more in the more surface area fine flow of air evaporation also increases by increasing the wind speed or air circulation when we are giving more air to the uh, like uh, liquid particles with the more air liquid particles are going to convert into the gaseous form why because when they are converting into the gaseous form for example by taking the heat from the sun they are going to convert in gaseous form nearby many moisture is there nearby moisture came and due to this moisture now it is very difficult for this like liquid to move outside this whenever free sur whenever air is there air will blow all the moisture away from this air will blow all the moisture from the surface area so this evaporating liquid will take the space evaporating liquid is now having some space to move out of this so they can evaporate very easily so by the more flow of air evaporation takes place more faster next we are having humidity of air if in the atmosphere water molecules are very much high means humidity is high humidity high means what in the air water molecules are already there if here already molecules are there so these molecules of liquid will not get space to move out in the atmosphere so due to this humidity rate of evaporation decreases fine next we are having evaporation always causes cooling whenever evaporation process takes place in a evaporation process behind always cooling process takes place for example in the leaf here in the tree leaf water is there so this water will take the heat from the sun then water will evaporate by evaporation behind cooling effect is there so under the tree we always feel cool next topic we are going to start that is applications and examples of evaporation now we are going to see in our daily life where we are going to see the evaporation so one by one we will discuss about this applications and examples so first application we are having during summer water kept in an earthen pot gets cooled might be you have seen in your house that during summer season we are keeping the water in an earthen pot why we are keeping so that this water after some time will get a uh, cooled by the evaporation so how it will happen this uh, see carefully so in an earthen pot when water is contained this water will go on the surface of the earthen pot it is going to trap on the surface of earthen pot because earthen pot is having some kind of pores in their surface so by trapping this inside water on the like layer of the earthen pot what this water droplet will do this water droplet will take the heat from the inside water or plus it can take the heat from outside heat also so by taking the heat from the inside water or from the outside environment this water droplet is going to evaporate in the atmosphere so as we know during evaporation what is left behind cooling effect is left behind so that is why water kept in a earthen pot always get cooled after some time second application we are having we feel more comfortable under a fan when we perspire when we are having so much sweat on our body during summer season and during, uh, with this sweat we are just sitting in front of a fan we feel more comfortable we feel more like cooling effect why so whenever we are having sweat on the surface of our body this sweat what will it will do it will take the heat from our body sweat will take the heat from our body and by taking the heat from our body sweat will evaporate in the atmosphere and when it will evaporate in the atmosphere here wind speed is also increased because fan is there in front of this person so by the increasing of wind speed evaporation rate also increases so with the more and more evaporation more and more cooling effect is also there so due to this 
when we are perspiring we feel more comfortable under a fan next application we are having third application doctor always advise to put a cotton wet cotton strip on the forehead of a patient when it is suffering when he or she is suffering from the high fever why for example this girl is suffering from a high fever so here one wet cotton strip is put on her head what this wet cotton strip will do this wet cotton strip will take all the heat from her body and by taking all the heat from her uh, on her body the water vapor which is present the water droplets which is present on this wet cloth this water vapor will evaporate in the atmosphere by evaporating by taking the heat from her body so she will feel more cooling or more more cooling effect will be there on her head so she will cool she will feel cool next we are having fourth application in the fourth application we are having to cool a hot tea faster pour it in a cup into a saucer for example here you want to drink a tea but in a uh, this cup tea is too much hot we cannot drink within 2 minutes so how you can drink within few minutes just put this tea from this cup to a saucer saucer is this kind of plate in which we are just pour the tea so that it can like uh, cool faster so how it will cool faster as we know by increasing the surface area evaporation rate also increases so by increasing the surface area the heat the which is present inside this tea that heat will evaporate more faster and by more fasting evaporation this tea will get cool fast next we are having fifth application during summer one should wear cotton clothes so it is always advised that during summer season we have to wear the cotton clothes why we have to wear the cotton clothes because whenever we are uh, when we are standing in front of a sunshine so white colored cloth is a good reflector of heat for example you are standing in front of sunshine so sunshine will not get absorbed to our body okay it will always reflect white colors or light colored cloths or, or cotton cloths always reflect the uh, sunlight back to the atmosphere so we will not feel that much hot during the summer season even though it is also going to absorb all the sweat from our body cotton cloths are having this much capacity to absorb all the sweat from our body and by absorbing the sweat sweat it will evaporate fast into the atmosphere so by evaporation behind cooling effect is left so by wearing cotton cloths we will feel cool during the summers